I asked a question maybe a month and a half ago. Should Angel Reese declare for the WNBA draft or should she stay in college one more year just to help her stock? So let's talk about her decision to declare for the WNBA draft. Turn that volume up. You know you want it. It's time for Women's Basketball TV with former NCAA champion, WNBA champion, business mogul, and national TV personality, Fran Harris. Let's get it. As you know, Angel Reese declared for the WNBA draft today, and many of you are feeling like it was the absolute best thing she could have done. I mentioned a couple of months ago that I thought she should stay and work on her game and then be the number one pick or the number two pick. I don't know that Angel Reese really cares enough about where she goes in the draft. I think Angel is ready to go and live her life. Now, again, let me go back. A month and a half ago, a month or two ago, I said, I think Angel should stay. And I meant that. I stand by the reasons that I said I thought Angel should stay. And all the reasons I said are say, the same reasons that our WNBA insiders are telling us as to why they believe she'll eventually have a solid career in the WNBA, but some of the things that she needs to do to get better instantly. You've heard me talk about it in that video a month and a half or so ago. Number one, you got to have a face-up game. Angel Reese does not have a consistent face-up 7 to 15 foot jumper. She doesn't. When she steps out there, sometimes it goes in. Most of the time, it doesn't because she hasn't worked on it. That's okay. You can fix that. You can fix that. But I'm just telling you, here is the draft report on Angel Reese. Angel Reese, fiery, fantastic rebounder, can't keep her off the boards, amazing effort on the boards. That makes her extremely valuable because let's face it, rebounding is dirty work. Nobody wants to do the dirty work. Angel Reese has specialized and excelled at that wherever she's been. So she's a tenacious, tenacious, did I say tenacious? She's a tenacious rebounder, very valuable asset in her toolkit. Other thing, Angel Reese is not a consistent free throw shooter. If she's going to bang, she's a banger down low. If she's going to bang, she's going to mix it up, talk trash, do her thing, all that good stuff. People are going to knock her on her ass, as we say in the league. She's going to go to the free throw line. Okay, Angel, knock those things down. So, got to become more powerful, more potent at the free throw line. Great passer. Very good passer, high low. I haven't seen this in a lot of reports, but this is my, my draft report, and I'll probably do one for one of our TV partners for the WNBA. My draft report is that Angel is a, a solid passer, especially from high low, uh, from top, from the uh, high post to the low post. Very good passer, sees the court really well. That's what I love about Angel. But let's take a pause real quickly and ask the question, is this the best move for Angel? And what's going into your reason for why you think Angel should leave or stay? Obviously, it's elementary, she's leaving. But what would your reason be if you were advising Angel about what to do next in her trek and her basketball career? What would you say to her? If you like these videos that I do, please go ahead and hit that like, share button, helps the algorithm to share my videos with more people so that we can continue to provide this content. So if you like, share, subscribe, of course, and we'll keep it moving. So Angel Reese's stock in the WNBA. Some, one GM has said, and this is publicly, uh, I'd heard this before, but this was made public today in an ESPN article, that some GMs are concerned about her extracurricular stuff on the court, pulling people's hair, tripping people, all this stuff, right? So there's one gym that went on the record. Of course, they weren't listed. They, their name wasn't listed in the article on ESPN today, but that they said they are concerned about all that extra stuff. And when I talked to GMs, even right before Matt, uh, March Madness started, a lot of them were saying, let's scratch it, not a lot of them, at least two or three of them were saying, yeah, I mean that does that that could bring some some unwanted attention to the team that that Angel goes to, but many of them love the fact that she was competitive. That that came up in a lot of our conversations. She's super competitive. We need people who are competitive who play, you know, those kinds of things, play certain ways and those kinds of things. So, there's a mixed bag on how people feel about Angel's antics on the court, 
But overall, everybody feels like Angel is a tremendous talent who will land somewhere. Now, let's talk about where she could land. I will tell you that my insiders are saying that Angel wants to play in Los Angeles. Uh, we all know why Angel wants to be in Los Angeles. Angel wants to be in L.A. for the lights. For the lights, the cameras, and the action. Hey, I can't blame you, baby girl. I would want to be in Los Angeles. But is that best for her career? Is that best for her career? She wants to be there because she knows she's beyond basketball. She knows she can get movie deals, modeling, brand deals. So who might want Angel Reese? I think there are several teams that would benefit from having Angel Reese because you could always use a tenacious rebounder. You can always use a big post player who can run the floor, dominates the boards. But let's talk realistically about who Angel Reese could go to in the WNBA draft. I've heard from my insiders that Angel wants to go, as I said, to Los Angeles for all the reasons we all want to be in Los Angeles, for the lights, the cameras, all that good stuff. Minnesota has come up and even publicly is in an article today as to where Angel could go. I'm going to tell you all this. Low-key, like, you don't need to go to Minnesota if you're not going to be serious about basketball. And Angel has some convincing to do that she's serious about basketball. Why do I say that? Because Angel has been very public about her her confidence and her ability in her ability to to succeed beyond basketball, as she should be. But here's the issue with that. Here's the challenge with that. When you lead with with your extracurricular activities, your movies, your modeling, your hair, when you lead with those things, it's difficult for a GM to look at you and think you're going to be serious about basketball. The biggest challenge for Angel right now is convincing a GM that she's going to come into training camp ready to play basketball. All right, so I'm hearing that Minnesota, we saw this in, the I think, an ESPN article today, that, that Minnesota might select Angel. And let me just say, if you're not serious about basketball again, you do not need to go to Minnesota. Y'all listening to me right now, Cheryl Reeve is not to be trifled with. If you're not serious about basketball, that is not the place for you. So that's my only caveat to Angel going to Minnesota. That's not a place she's going to thrive if she's not going to take hoop seriously. Well, some of y'all saying, well, who says she's not going to take hoop seriously? Okay, let's let's keep it a buck. Y'all, y'all are religious about these players. I'm not. I'm in conversations with coaches at the college level and, and WNBA all year long, 24-7, 12 months out of the year. I'm in these conversations, and most people don't believe Angel is serious about basketball. Don't shoot the messenger. That's just the truth. They think she's about everything else. And they listen, good for her for investing in the other stuff. But, you know, to take it out of the basketball context, let's see, Dell Computers is not, or Apple is not going to hire me to be the CMO of their Southwest division if I have 20 other gigs going. It's not going to happen. It's the same thing here. Angel has to be professional and to help the GM of the franchise that, that are, the franchises that are talking to her, help them understand that, you know, yeah, I got other stuff, as they already know. They believe me, they're not new to Angel. And that she's and she's got to convince them that she's also serious about hoops. Because the last thing we want for Angel is that Angel hops around from one team to the next, developing the reputation of not being serious about basketball. And therefore as quickly as she's in the league, she's out of the league. That's not what we want for Angel. That's not what her fans, which, by the way, are up to $6 million across all platforms, that's not what they want for her. So Angel's got to make some decisions as, as a professional as to what she's going to do as she steps into this new world and navigating this new level of professionalism by being in the W. If Angel goes to Minnesota, we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see a different Angel Reese because they require a certain level of professionalism and development as players. Otherwise, you don't last there. Where else could Angel go? I could see blockbuster trades happening. I think Angel, as she said 
fairly publicly that she wants to be in Los Angeles. Um, well, maybe not public to y'all, but I've heard she wants to be in Los Angeles. Uh, there could be Atlanta. I mean, everybody can use an active, athletic, intelligent, rebounding, rebounding goddess. No question about that. But who is going to take her? What do y'all think? Where do you think Angel Reese should land? Where do you think Angel Reese should go to make the transition from college to the pros? Do you think she will be a starter where she goes? Or do you think she's going to be coming off, off the bench? Thanks for tuning in to Women's Basketball TV with Fran Harris. The most provocative and entertaining women's basketball show on earth. Be sure to click that like, share and notification button so you don't miss a moment. We'll see you tomorrow.